Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to discuss methods that you can use at home. There are different steps involved in this method and I will show them for you to follow. In order to find stones that contain hidden gold, Metal detectors provide an exciting means of locating gold and other mineral specimens. They have long been known as highly effective prospecting tools for finding larger mineral deposits. There are countless areas to search, some more advantageous than others. Dry arid climates are popular for meteorite detecting. Gold is often pinpointed in the ground, sand, iron ore fields, rivers, streams and even in the ocean water. The act of crushing rocks is dangerous so it is important for you to wear some protective gear. In order to break very hard stones, we often use fire and water to facilitate the process. First we take the stones and put them on the fire for a few minutes, then we remove them and put them on the ground and then we start to sprinkle them with a little water. Roasting this process is carried out in the presence or absence of air or other reagents, allows the following, almost complete removal of sulfur from the ore by the formation of oxides. Bring the dirt of the raw and then heat it on the fire until you see it boil to get rid of sulfur because sulfur spoils nitric acid and changes the properties of aqua regia.
Boil the ore at a high temperature in sulfuric acid at a high concentration of 50% at least for an hour to get rid of impurities and non-precious metals. Place the ore in a cloth bag that is sealed from the edges, shake it with running water and rinse well. Make sure the ore is free of acid odor. Make sure it is completely clean. Or just make like me here. Prepare aqua regia, as it is known, nitric acid and hydrochloride in a 1 to 3 ratio, respectively.
Use iron sulfate or use SMB or one of the precipitants you have available or watch one of our videos to know how to deposit gold in another way. You have a solution ready for sedimentation, you must be aware that the precipitant used in the sedimentation process precipitates all the following metals in the periodic table of elements passing through gold. In the event that the solution is free of tin chloride and lead chromate, you will have an immediate precipitate in the solution. In case the solution contains tin chloride and lead chromate, you have a complex colloidal solution that cannot be precipitated. Dry it on the fire until you have a purple colored paste. Pour it in a small amount of hydrochloric acid. It will completely dissolve and you will have a white precipitate. Get rid of the white precipitate completely, then filter and purify with acid. Do not use water at all. Take the solution to the fire. Dry it completely until it turns 150 degrees. This colloidal paste turns yellow as a result of transformation tin. 2. Chloride is soluble in water, and the ternary chloride of gold is converted to chloride of gold, monoxide which is insoluble in water. Go to the yellow precipitate after heating it on a very low heat and carefully so that it does not burn, then rinse it very well with alcohol several times to get rid of tin chloride. Thank you for subscribing to GRH channel. If you liked this channel, make sure to subscribe for more. We hope you enjoy watching. Thanks again and welcome to GRH channel, Gold Recovery Hassan.